Wireless fidelity, commonly known as Wi-Fi, has become an indispensable part of our daily lives. It has revolutionized the way we connect to the internet and communicate with each other. Whether at home, in the office, or on the go, Wi-Fi networks are ubiquitous and provide us with fast and reliable internet access. However, despite its widespread usage, many people are still unfamiliar with the technology behind Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, or wireless fidelity, is a technology that allows devices to connect to the internet using radio frequencies instead of physical cables. It is a type of wireless networking that enables users to browse the web, stream media, and communicate with other devices without being tethered to a physical connection. 1. The Basics of Wireless Networking Wireless networks are similar to traditional wired networks, except that they use radio signals to transmit data instead of physical wires. These networks allow users to connect multiple devices to the internet without requiring individual cables for each one. There are two main types of wireless networks, local area networks, LANs, and wide area networks, WANs. LANs are typically used in homes and small businesses, while WANs are used to connect separate LANs across a larger geographical area. 2. Components of a wireless network the main components of a wireless network are the router, access point, and wireless adapter. The router is the central device that connects to the internet and distributes the signal to other devices. Access points are used to extend the range of the network, while wireless adapters are required to connect individual devices to the network. 3. Wi-Fi Network Architecture and Components There are two main types of Wi-Fi networks, ad hoc networks and infrastructure networks. Ad hoc networks are used to connect devices directly to one another without the need for a central router. Infrastructure networks, on the other hand, are set up using a central router that distributes the signal to connected devices. 4. Access points and routers. Access points and routers are two essential components of a Wi-Fi network. Access points are used to extend the range of the network and ensure that all devices have a strong signal. Routers, on the other hand, connect to a modem and distribute the internet signal to all devices on the network. 5. Wi-Fi adapters and devices. Wi-Fi adapters are required to connect individual devices to a wireless network. Most modern smartphones, laptops, and tablets come with built-in Wi-Fi adapters, but other devices may require an external adapter in order to connect. 6. How Wi-Fi signals are transmitted and received. Wi-Fi signals are transmitted using radio frequencies, which are measured in Hertz, HZ. Most Wi-Fi networks operate on either the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz bands, which are divided into multiple channels. Each channel is a separate frequency range that can be used to transmit data. Wi-Fi signals use modulation techniques to encode data into radio waves. The most common modulation techniques are amplitude modulation, AM, and phase modulation, PM. Data is transmitted in small packets, which are reassembled at the receiving device to form the original message. The range of a Wi-Fi signal depends on a variety of factors, including the strength of the signal, the type of antenna being used, and any obstacles that may interfere with the signal. Most routers and access points use omnidirectional antennas, which transmit signals evenly in all directions. However, Directional antennas can be used to focus the signal in a specific direction, which can increase range and reduce interference. 7. Wi-Fi Security and Encryption Techniques When it comes to using Wi-Fi, security is a top concern. Wi-Fi networks are prone to various security threats that can compromise your personal data, such as hacking, eavesdropping, and unauthorized access. Man in the Middle, Mighty M. Attacks Hackers intercept communications between two devices on a network to steal sensitive information. Malware. Viruses, worms, and Trojan horses can infect your devices and steal data or even take control of your device. Eavesdropping. Hackers can intercept and monitor Wi-Fi traffic to steal sensitive information like passwords or login credentials. Rogue access points. Attackers can create fake Wi-Fi networks to steal personal information or launch attacks on connected devices. Encryption protocols. Encryption is the process of converting plain text into a coded message that only authorized parties can access. Wi-Fi networks use various encryption protocols to secure data, including Wired Equivalent Privacy, WEP, Wi-Fi Protected Access, WPA, and WPA2. WPA2 is the most secure encryption protocol, 
while WEP is the least secure and should be avoided. Authentication and access control. Authentication and access control mechanisms are used to ensure that only authorized users have access to the network. Users can be authenticated using a password, network key, or a certificate. Access control can also be enforced using firewalls, virtual private networks, VPNs, or access points. 8. Future of Wi-Fi, Emerging Trends and Innovations Wi-Fi technology is evolving rapidly, and there are many new trends and innovations on the horizon. Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11x, is the latest and fastest Wi-Fi standard currently available. Its improved speed and efficiency will allow for better performance in high-density environments like stadiums, airports, and shopping centers. Wi-Fi will play a crucial role in the growth of the Internet of Things, IoT, where everyday objects are connected to the Internet to share data. With Wi-Fi, devices can connect wirelessly and share information with each other, making automation and communication between devices easier than ever before. Researchers are exploring the potential for Wi-Fi to be used for communication in space and underwater. A team of researchers has successfully tested Wi-Fi underwater, opening up new possibilities for oceanographic research and exploration.